Hello, it's Mrs. Russo again. Today we're going to be talking about how we're teaching to divide and check. And they're going to be checking by taking their quotient times their divisor to find out if it will get their original dividend. And then they would add the remainder if there was one. So for example, if I take the number, take the divisor 8 and the dividend 800 and 97. And we still go through the does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers. Some students are starting to transition out of this, but if some are still having a hard time keeping track of what step and what's going on next, um, then really, you know, encourage them to still use divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. Just help them keep track of the numbers and where they're at in the long division because it's a long process. So 8 times what gets us close to 8? Well, most of them hopefully will say 1. And I'm just going to go ahead and solve through this. Check. 0 is definitely less than 8. I'm going to bring down the 9. How many 8s can I get out of 9? We'll do 1. 8 times 1 is 8. Subtract. I get 1 again. Is 1 smaller than 8? My divisor? Yes. So I can bring down my last 7. 8 times what gets me close to 17, but not go over, will be 2. Sorry, I think about that for a second. 8 times 2 is 16. Subtract, and I end up with 1. And some people are drawing like these little invisible zeros, which are kind of fun. So I end up with a remainder of 1. Now we're at the check part. How do we check our division problem that we did it correctly? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your quotient, your answer to your multiplication problem, and you're going to write that. And then you're going to take your 8, which I don't know why I scribbled it out, but we're going to take our divisor 8 and multiply it. So now your 8 times 2 is 16, and we'll use the regrouping method. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 8 times 1 is 8. Well, I get 896, but we have to incorporate our division, our remainder. So we're going to add a remainder because it was left out, and we should get 897. And our answers should match each other. It should be exactly perfect. And so today on their homework, they're going to have to do divide and do this check. Let me know if you have any questions, and good luck.